Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do another reading for March. I've already done one, it's just time to do an update. So this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see whatever comes up for the month of March. Keep in mind this reading may or may not be for you, okay? We'll see what happens. What do we got for Cancer? There may be some obstruction in the way. You know, there may be something in the way of what you're seeing. You know, you may not be seeing things as clearly. Maybe there's something, you know, minor in obstructing your view, whatever that means. Something needs to be moved out of the way. I'm not sure what that is. Hope. Hope. You know, and it came out sideways, right? Kind of almost like reverse. There could be a loss of hope. You know, you have to have hope. You have to have faith. It's a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. You notice on the tree, you might not be able to see them, but there's little, there's little uh, affirmations per se. Okay, one of them is joy, peace, purity, truth, I'm not sure what the other ones are, they're so small, but this, it's like something is growing on this tree, okay, something is growing on this tree, it is. So things are starting to get better. You know, things are probably, you're starting to feel more at peace. You're starting to feel more pure. You're starting to stand in your own truth. You know, don't give up hope. Things are about to get better or they are getting better. They are getting better. Um, you know, when I see that card, hope, you know, it reminds me of the star card because the star card is a card of hope. It's a, it's a card of wish fulfillment. Okay. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. I'm starting to get the goosebumps, so I'm not sure if you are um, receiving some angelic guidance. I got the goosebumps when I noticed the wings. I had noticed the wings when I was talking to you, and I got the goosebumps. So you may be receiving a, a angelic guidance at this time. So you know, rest assured that things are headed in the right direction. I just know that they are. Um, Ooh, look at that happiness, contentment. And you're moving, you're headed towards that. If you're single, don't give up hope. This is you headed towards a commitment, headed towards happiness, even if you're in a relationship, okay? You're headed towards this. You're headed towards bliss, okay? You're headed in the right direction. It's funny that I said that before the cards even came out. You are headed in the right direction. Um, this is... This is um, thinking about something, thinking about walking away. The Eight of Cups isn't actually doing it. Maybe you're thinking about walking in a new direction or you may be thinking about going back to something. Could go either way. Um, take all the time that you need, okay, because you want to make sure that you are continued ahead in the direction that is going to you know, bring you the most wish fulfillment. Take all the time you need to think about whatever decision you have to make. This is a choice, okay? And this, so this does make sense. You probably have to make a choice. Do you want to, what direction do you want to go? What direction do you want to go? Do you want to keep thinking about the past or do you want to, do you want to keep moving forward? What's it going to be? Um, so you're definitely in a period of making a choice. You're at that crossroads. Now you have to make this decision. Take all the time you need. Like I said, you're headed towards happiness. This is extreme bliss. I mean, these are both very happy, happy cards. So I think that you guys have been through a period of growth. You're probably um, going through some sort of renewal right now. Um, there's, there's like a rebirth here. Um, I think that you're shining very brightly. I think that um, the, 
I think there's a lot of newness coming into your life, okay? So I also need to tell you that if you're losing hope, don't lose hope because by summertime, things are going to be much brighter than they are today. Wow, I can't believe it. I mean, this is abundance. This is the ultimate abundance. You guys are headed towards something that is very stable, secure, solid, long-term. It's like the whole package. Look at this. We have a 10 here and a 10 here. These are, these are typically completions, completions of a chapter, completions of a cycle in your life. You know, the dark period, the darkness that you have been through, it's, it's over. It's over. It's going to be replaced with something more beautiful. Okay, so I think that you guys have been through a really tough time, and that's over. I think it's over. I really do. If you see the owl up there, the owl uh, signifies change. So you guys do have a big change that is on the horizon, and it's a beautiful one. It is a beautiful one. It's going to lead to more abundance than you've had in a long time. Y'all saw that it was the tower. You know, I can't, I can't just put it away. I saw it. I turned it over for a reason. Even though it's reversed, this is a change. And somebody's been trying to avoid something, okay, with the Six of Swords reversed. And this is trying to avoid a change as well. This change is needed. It's needed. You may be comfortable in a situation that isn't serving you. Maybe, maybe you're not comfortable. Maybe, maybe you're um, losing your focus. Maybe you you need to take a new approach. Maybe you've lost your desire to um, dominate. Okay, you need to take control of your life. You need to be the boss. You need to bring structure back. The only one that can do it is you. And it it looks to me like some of you have been reluctant. You've been reluctant to move on. You see, right underneath this Eight of Cups, you guys keep thinking about going back to something that hurt you. But that was a false false foundation. It was it wasn't stable. It wasn't secure. It wasn't like it wasn't built on solid ground for some reason and you need to take that new approach you need to allow growth into your life whatever you are thinking about going back to you need to you need to keep walking you need to keep walking because you're you're headed towards something much much happier something more abundant but you can't keep looking back you can't I know that you need to take all the time that you need to take to to think about this, but you're the boss. You're the boss of your life, okay? So, you know, you need to protect yourself. You need to protect yourself from getting betrayed again. Right around the corner is happiness. So you have all you have to do is not look back. Stop looking back. Stop looking back at some sort of destruction or upheaval that you have already had in your life. I think you've already had this, okay? Don't don't keep looking back at it. All it's doing is hindering your growth. It is. It's hindering your ability to accept a new opportunity into your life. Okay? This is a new passionate beginning. It is, but it's uh, it's reversed. It's 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 like it's delayed because you keep on looking back at something. So, you know, I feel like Somebody needs to get grounded. Somebody needs to be practical. You need to accept responsibility. You need to be disciplined. You need to um, really focus on yourself at this time. Really, really, really focus on you. Okay? What's the best option for you? Um, don't be so reluctant to see things differently. Remember I said there's an... It's funny. Before I even laid out any cards... When I was shuffling, I said there's some, some sort of obstruction, some sort of something is clouding your view. Is it your thoughts? The past? You know, 
This is you. Maybe you need to drink. Look, it's like she's going to drink from her own cup. Love yourself enough to know what you deserve. Don't let yourself be controlled by another individual when you're in control of who you are. Love yourself and the person that's going to that's going to come in will love you just as much. I feel like for some of you if you are the if you are the woman watching this if you are the cancer woman watching this, you, probably, you have somebody coming in that is going to protect you. Somebody that is family oriented. Somebody that really knows how to um, take care of business. Somebody that has a lot of wisdom behind their back. This person may be a little bit older than you. This person is very authoritative. This person has a lot of life experience behind their back. This person is very decisive and strong and responsible. So don't lose hope. If you are the Cancer man, this is the energy that you are taking on. You are the boss. You have the ability. You are strong. You just have to stand in your power. You have to use your masculine side as a tool at this time. If you are the Cancer man, you may be dealing with a Pisces Cancer Scorpio that... is very compassionate and tender. And this person, you know, has a lot of love to offer, but you got to be gentle with this person if you are the cancer man. Cancer man. Um, mm. Now, remember I said, if you're the cancer man, you need to take on your masculine. you gotta, you got to use your masculinity at this time. You got to be decisive. You got to you got to be strong. You got to have courage. You got to replace fear. You got to be strong. You have to be optimistic. And that goes for the for the cancer woman as well, but I feel if you are the cancer woman, you may you could have this person coming into your life. It's pretty much the same the same kind of well, it's a little bit different. This person right here is very very authoritative again, very decisive. Um a little bit less emotional than you, quite a bit emotional, less emotional than you. This person um, doesn't get all caught up in the little things. This person is straight to the point, whoever this person is. Um, and maybe if you're the cancer male watching this, that's the energies you need to take on. You know, the decision is neat. It, this guy makes a decision and sticks to it. You have to stick to your decision. For whoever, male or female. Love yourself enough to stick to that. You made the decision for a reason. Stick to it. Yeah, you got love coming, Cancer. You got love coming. We have a new partnership that is coming about. If you are coupled, you know, there's an opportunity to work on a relationship if you are, or to make something work if you take a new approach. This is not taking a new approach. This is not taking a new approach. Somebody has to take a new approach to have a relationship, period. And it has to do with discipline. You make a decision and you stick to it. This is letting go of old ideas, letting go of old thoughts. It's coming out of this period of recuperation that you've been through, this painful situation. Your time of suffering is just about over. But you, like I said, have to take the lead. You have to be stand firm in your decision. And you can't Keep doing things the way you've always done them because you wouldn't be here right now watching this reading if, you know, that worked in the past. This is, a new approach is needed. Mm. 
Wow. Now this is this is the judgment card reversed. No, it's not. This is the devil. They both Yeah, this is the devil. This is the devil reversed. This is a lost opportunity. Oh God. This is a lost opportunity for something big. This is a big lost opportunity if you don't change your approach. And you notice where I put it, I covered up one of these people. There's an opportunity for a partnership if you change your, your ways. This is about dealing with addictions, dealing with codependency, uh, taking back control of your life. It's breaking free, severing ties with things that are not good for you. You have to sever those ties. You have to break free from the grips that have kept you stuck. Happiness is around the corner and it's like you're throwing away an opportunity by not truly moving forward. Maybe you need to release a grudge. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Capricorn here. We have Leo here. We have uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, Aries. The worst is over. The worst is over. But you don't want to lose this big, huge opportunity just because you're stuck. You don't know, you're, you're not rowing the boat. It's like you're stuck. Going backwards. You're going backwards. By not making that firm decision and sticking to it. So, you know, that devil card reverse, it's like you have to restore control. This is release, this is freedom. And this is freedom too, the Ten of Swords, freedom. It's time to sever those ties with whoever it is that has kept you stuck so that you can have this opportunity for love. You got somebody else. But you have to be emotionally available completely and fully. If your cup is empty, and that's why it's funny I said she's drinking from her own cup. If your cup is empty, then Nobody's going to want it. Nobody wants an empty cup. Love yourself enough to know whatever didn't work out in the past didn't work out for a reason. It was a false structure anyway. Anyway, it's time to face your fears and step into the unknown because right around the corner is a lot on each corner happiness extreme bliss but it all starts with you making that firm decision to love yourself enough to only move forward not backwards Don't give up hope that you're ne that and think, oh, I'm never going to find anybody. That's bullshit. Patience, 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 patience. Death. Endings bring new beginnings, right? This is a card of transformation. It's time. It's time to release. It's time for your rebirth. It's time to begin again. But before you do that, you gotta you gotta let whatever is ended, whatever is done, whatever is has died. You gotta you gotta release it. You have to.
you know, this is realize, beginning to realize you have another opportunity. Five of Cups reverse. This is recovery, going through recovery, but you got to have faith. You have a new love prospect here. Don't throw it away. It could be with an empress, or this could be you. Worthy of love. Somebody that is beautiful, somebody that is kind, somebody that is compassionate, somebody who has already dealt with their pain. Somebody, this is somebody who is glowing, somebody that knows their worth. This is the birth of something new. You have something new coming, Cancer. You do. And it's beautiful. You know, but you have to deal with that pain to get that miracle. We've talked about that over and over and over again. You have to release the pain to get the miracle, period. Endings bring new beginnings. You have a new beginning here waiting for you. You just have to be disciplined and make that solid, firm decision to not look back. There's fear of growing old alone, right? There is. There's fear of loneliness. That's just a fear. There's fear of not getting your wish fulfillment. You're going to get it. Don't give up. If you prove your worth, somebody will come after you. If you are the cancer man, this is the woman that you are probably going to come together with. Could be a Taurus, could be a Libra, could be any other sign. This woman is I was going to say she's a goddess, right? She's the goddess of love. She's ruled by Venus. She is the goddess of love. She is. She is worthy. She is very experienced. She doesn't cheat. She's loyal. She's giving. She's generous. She's compassionate. And everybody wants her because of who she is. So, I feel like if you are the cancer woman and this is the energy that you are taking on, you, you are losing faith. Don't lose faith. This period of darkness that you have, darkness is... Ten of Swords is going to be replaced with light and happiness. It is. It's right around the corner, male or female. So it's just time for you to stop looking back. Because you got somebody else. Now, I feel like... Let's just clarify this two of cups. Now this is a union, right? The two of cups is a union. Partnership is coming. Very compatible. Very, very compatible. There'll be mutual respect. The moon reversed. This is a reality check. This is reality. Seeing the truth. Truth being delivered. Truth coming out. Nine of wands reversed. Releasing. This is releasing the pain. Releasing the struggle. Not fighting, you're not, there won't be, there's going to be compatibility, not, not worrying about it. This is not fighting it, not fighting it. You're going to have to face your fears and not fight a new partnership. Just don't fight it. Don't let confusion of the past hinder your ability for growth, hinder this new opportunity that you have coming in. You do have somebody new. 
but you can't look back like I said let me get you one more card I feel like uh, by summertime you will be absolutely glowing but that's if you make that decision and stand firm and you know what the decision is I don't have to tell you we got more than one we're only going to take one Whoever is coming into your life, it could lead to engagement. It could lead to marriage. Something really long term. Something that could last forever with that ten of pentacles. It could last forever. Something that you can really save and, and keep. But remember, you've got to be optimistic. And you got to be practical. Finding sanctuary. And it's funny. It is funny because I didn't show you what was on the bottom of this deck. Sanctuary. Finding sanctuary. Remember this deck? Sanctuary. So this definitely has something to do with it. Um, finding sanctuary. Some of you may be only focused, focused too much on your money, too much on your finances. And that could be inhibiting your ability to see a relationship that's right in front of your eyes. Some of you may be involved with the wrong one and you got somebody else waiting for you that is... much more practical anyway opening to your spiritual source rest rejuvenate tune in to your spiritual source it's in times of retreat in inner sanctuary that you can truly hear the voice of your soul go within and find your inner refuge be a safe haven for others step forward with grace deliberation and thoughtfulness take moments for reflection Profound healing of physical and emotional wounds can occur in the stillness of sanctuary. Difficult situations can be averted by taking time to go within. It's funny, I said drinking from your own cup. That's self-love. Sometimes the voyager becomes travel weary. The pack becomes heavy and the journey becomes lackluster. And I can see that it has been with this. And this is the journey it has. There's like, there's no drive. You're losing hope. You're losing faith. Anyway, it's in these moments that the traveler needs to step off the path and find a temple or sanctuary to reassess and renew and to remember what is truly important in life. This gives perspective in new strategies. Create a place of beauty in your home or in nature that feels sacred and holy and spend time there, carefully listening to your inner voice. If you have been pushing too hard or struggling to keep going, this is the time to be still and nurture your internal world. Listen to the voice of spirit. Maybe it's a time for you to release what you have held on to once and for all. So that you can have this new partnership that is coming to you, I think, by summertime. You can meet this person at a picnic, a wedding, a gathering, something like that. Don't lose hope. It's a time of healing. Keep going. Don't look back. Good luck.